Hi, it's Katherine Leggett again. I'm answering questions about my new book, The Road to Terminus, which is available right now from Mountain View Books. Today, I want to talk about hats from the 1950s because um, a lot of people wore hats in those days, and so of course I have to have hats in my story. People dressed a lot more formally in general in those days, and men's hats were extremely popular. They could be purchased in many, many different styles and colors, um, but often uh, businessmen would choose to wear fedoras. Um, fedor George Stanton wears a uh, fedora in The Road to Terminus. Fedoras came in uh, colors that would match your suit or your overcoat. They were made of fur, felt, or woven straw, and they featured a center crown crease and usually a pinch front and sort of a narrower brim. Um, hats were just wonderful accessories for men and they um, could be worn jauntily to the side um, which would indicate a certain kind of attitude or just straight on the head. It was just um, an interesting way to make a statement about who you were. Another really popular hat in those days um, that's also in the Road to Terminus was made by Stetson. It's called an open road. This was a quite a distinctive model because it had a deep U-shaped crease in the center. And uh, you could even distinguish this one in silhouettes. For a while, my husband had um, quite a big collection of hats from different times, a lot of cowboy hats that were, that were very old, and he knows a lot about hats. So he was my expert when it came to the hat department, the accessory department of the 50s. So I hope that you're going to go and buy The Road to Terminus. It's available on Amazon right now. And there's a link on my website as well, or you can order it from Mountain View Books. This is Katherine Leggett answering questions about the road to Terminus. Thank you.